Hello, my name is Chef Bouchard. This is my assistant Jacques. Today we're going to make mepois. For mepois, you need by weight two parts onion, one part carrot, one part celery. Now these weights are a guide, so you can change your mind if you wish, but to be safe, we do this. Take one onion and a slice off the top of the onion. Sharp knife, be careful of your fingers at all times. Then score a line through the skin of the onion. Do not remove it. Peel it off as you would the jacket. For we are going to be using the peel as a handle later on when we dice the onion. Then you keep your uh, workspace clean, making sure you have a trash receptacle for your peelings. And I do not see one anyway, Jack. You know what you have to do. There we go, in the pocket it goes. Then we take the onion, stand it on the end, be very careful, slice almost all the way through the onion, so keep the whole thing as one piece, uh, this makes it easy for dicing. Uh, about halfway through you see it gets clumsy, then you turn the onion around uh, and come back on yourself. We are looking for pieces uh, about uh, a sixteenth of an inch to eight of an inch in uh, um, diameter or length or whatever. Once we've done this, we turn the onion around on itself halfway and uh, slice so we now have little rectangles. Uh, halfway through, there you go, turn the onion around uh, and come back on yourself. Now this time when we reach uh, the middle again, what we'll do is take the knife all the way through so we now have two half uh, pieces of onion. Lay the onion on the flat side, keeping our workspace clean. Perfect. Um, using the skin as a handle, you roll the blade. Now the blade he is using is called a French knife. Uh, if you notice the shape, it is curved at the end. Uh, for what you, uh, the way you use this knife as you roll the blade, you do not slice or dice, you roll the blade. Easiest way of you doing this. Again, watch for your fingers. Now, um, if you notice, um, Jacques board moves as he cuts. Uh, we shall see this in a second. It moves. Now, this is why he's an assistant and not a chef. For one of the basic rules of uh, cut, uh, dicing or cutting uh, with the board is to place a damp towel between the board and the, cu the uh, cutting surface, and that's why it will not move. So we have diced the onion, uh, we have placed the peelings in a receptacle, there you go. And then uh, collect it all together. Uh, taking off all the pieces of our onion peel and placing it into um, the uh, our receptacle. There we go. Now after we do this, uh, we take off uh, the piece of celery, cutting off the bottom and cutting off the top. There you go, into your pocket, monsieur. Slash lengthwise, be very, very careful and uh, to avoid your fingers. Very, very careful. And then uh, um, level it, and uh, again we roll the blade. Roll the blade, roll the blade, roll the blade. Just like that um, fat that used to break people's uh, knees uh, uh, in the like 90s and thousands. Uh. And then uh, we place uh, the celery in with the onion. And there we go. We take a freshly peeled carrot, uh, we slice off the top uh, and the bottom, uh, and then we slice lengthwise down this, the carrot like this. Uh, turn them over, and then um, we slice, so you see, roll the blade is easier. Uh, rolling the blade uh, and making similar size uh, strips of, of the carrot. Uh. Now again, mirepoix is good for any soup or stew, um, and the weight uh, being two parts onion, one part uh, carrot, one part celery, is a baseline. You can change your mind. Once you become comfortable with Nepois, you can experiment and uh, try different things. Nepois is actually very good by itself uh, once sauteed. And it's very nutritious. And once this is done, you have Nepois. Next, Jacques will saute this. Uh, now, Jacques, uh, present, please. There we go. Now Jacques has a heated sauté pan, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper. Brings it to temperature until the olive oil is starting to bubble. And then he takes the mepois and places it in the pan. 
From now on, it is just watching the pan and making sure that the heat is uh, running through all of the mirepoix by tossing it around. You can use a spoon or spatula if you wish. Now, for this amount, it will be about four to five minutes until it is cooked. Basically, you're looking for the onion to be transparent. So there we have a mirepoix. Merci.